All right, well, I hit the wrong button apparently, so I'm gonna scan this one again. We're over on the clean. We're gonna do a quick review of what I was running my mouth on and let you catch back with my memories. Thought I hit my record button, but apparently I didn't. Straight ahead on 12th, Mickey D's. Used to go over there often. Corner of Lincoln and Dixie, 1960, no, I'm sorry, 1694. Got peoples that I went to school with that live there. Well, let's catch that one again. All right, pulling up into this little side parking lot of Hamilton Casters. All right, straight ahead. Here we go. Is the Hamilton Inn. As you see, it comes down two stories, then it hits a white building. And then there's a big empty lot. Well, here's your little piece of history there. That used to be a whole other section, or a whole other wing, I guess you would call it, of units you could rent. Straight down on the other side of it is the trailer park that used to be attached to it. To the Eaton. It was the Eaton Motor Lodge, I believe is what they called it. Oh, circling back around. And back in the day, zoom out, back to corner of Dixie and Lincoln. Uh, straight ahead, two-story white building. That's where Satan lived. All seriousness, that was a Doberman named Satan, the first dog to ever bite me. Gave me a little uh, fear of dogs for quite some time. All right, coming down here, I used to shovel snow through here and I tried cutting grass and all kinds of stuff you do as a kid when you try to make money. All right, coming over here to 12th again. Um, to my right, as I make the turn, that's where Kathy and Karen used to live. That was the twin girls that lived in the neighborhood for a while. There was Billy Day's house. I think his, he wound up buying a house next to him. Charlie Thomas lived there. The Hogg family lived there. I remember their son's name was Todd. I want to say the daughter was Amy. She was a bit older. Coming down here on Boniker. All kinds of memories through here. Bits and pieces. Uh, the Brashears lived in the second house over. I remember that. Welcome to the hood, my hood. Bogus Boltzl used to live in this first unit. Second one here, 1303, that was my house. Well, my mom's dad's house, mom and stepdad's house. Pacers lived there. Bernice lived there. And then over here was the Goins family. Uh, my friend Scott was my best friend growing up. Parking has always been a problem on this street. You know, I'm gonna do something odd. I'm gonna cut down the alley just because I can. <laughs> All right. Uh, this yellow house. That used to be it. That was where we lived. That tree's been there quite some time. I was up on that roof one year trimming tree branches back. Scared out of my gourd. Oh, lordy. By the way, it's tw still 26 degrees, about 8.24 in the morning. Slow and easy turns, back over onto 12. Oh, let's see. On 12th, this little house here. Sudi and Grace lived. Um, that was the 
Brandenburgs, I think is their last name. I'm going to take you up 12th, as I also tend to do just a hair before I jump over to. What's up there, Sunshine? Don't jump out in front of me. You say, what the heck are you doing with the video camera? I'm doing what I want to do. It's free country, American. American rights still exist for a while, anyway. All right. Oh, 12th, still a rough, rough section of roadway. Coming up on Sipple Avenue. All right, just a quick note, as I tend to do. This big grayish looking house here. Used to be where I lived. The house right next to it, with the little indent porch. Used to be a lady that lived there that would fall into the category of crazy cat lady. She uh, had bunches of cats back in the day. And over here you had the Blackwells, friend Jimmy Blackwell when I was a younger, younger kid. Good friend, and this used to be a little corner store. Looks like they turned into a house now. Alright, so. Here's a nice proof of the city that I'm in. Hamilton, Ohio. Yeah, it still, it still had the exclamation point. A little thing that they tried to do for a while. Unfortunately, it got shot down in flames. All right. Other than cruising through here, I've got a whole lot to say. Don't remember a whole lot about the people that I knew through there. houses look very dilapidated but <laughs> yeah never mind I was gonna say but but I don't think there's a butt in some of these landlocked and they still have a boat hillbilly pride All right. I turned down this big old warehouse I think what that was called All right, Minix Drive through another one. Roundhouse Cantina. Brewer's Coffee Shop. Breakfast and lunch anytime. All right, bail bond, be free bail bonds. There you go. Be free. Well, don't do the crime, and you won't have to worry about doing the time. All right, Hanover Avenue. This has uh, become, I guess, somewhat, somewhat of a Latin area of town. My Espanol is on the weekend, so I'm not gonna worry about getting into deep conversations. Roads closed to through traffic. Fortunately, I'm not trying to go through. I'm just trying to catch a little video. Just like this. Some road construction. All right. Hose House, number four, AD 1900. This building. Is 113 years old. Still standing. Of course, they've got wire across the windows to keep people from breaking in. But the old saying, "We don't make them like that anymore." All right. Cruise down here to ninth. house. Got the corner one on. Second one over. 8th Avenue. I guess we'll cut over about 7. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we'll cut over 
number seven. Let's see what there is to see. In the 700 block of 7th Avenue. Coming up on Chestnut. The Israel Baptist Church, AD 1966. About three years before I was born. Rigdon. And I still don't know why I do these other than I want to. Gives me a chance to clear my head and flip back to review if I want to see some of the old neighborhoods. Alright, making way back up to Ludlow. Now Ludlow was a Actually, a special street. I, I can remember again decades and decades ago coming down here to the babysitter, Janet Betts, who at last count still lived in the same house. Her husband Jack, bless his soul, has passed away as people tend to do. Alright. This bright sun again. Looks like it's a bar now. Used to be a corner store. And 1120. That was the Betz's house. I still remember my way around here somewhat. No, I guess that was 12th I was coming up on. There's 11th. Club car. Savage Auto Supply coming up on the right. It's been there a long time, as the building and sign will tell you. And we'll go this way, I guess. Hey, Bill's Firehouse. Oh, what's to see and what's to say? Oh, wow, I don't know. Not a whole lot, I guess. Jocko's chicken up ahead. Straight ahead, underneath the sun, star cleaners, as I know I said the last time. That's been there a long time. Uh, the Dayton Lane Historic District. We used to just call them old houses when we lived there. But I guess things... In Times have changed. I still think it's a neat place. Give me some space there, pal. I look like you're trying to get around it. Alright. About to see downtown. Waiting for a light to change. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a long trip over here. Just getting Mom, a chance to kind of wake up a little bit. I'll stop and get some breakfast here in a bit. First glance in the distance. First. First glance, first bank. 
I think that's the municipal building there, one of the tallest buildings in town, if not the tallest. And green beans go. Alrighty. Let's see what changes to Old Town has come across us. McDonald's is coming up on the left. It's been there a long time. Historical Museum. Flower Shop. Must be a bookstore there too. First Financial. Don's Bail Bonds. Hamilton Center. Went there one time for a, like a family reunion or a family gathering of some sort on the Crouch side. There she is, the Hamilton Courthouse. I still like that old building. I can't lie. It's just too cool. And let's see. Lentil Park. Guess what it says over there, or something like that. That actually used to be the Court Theater, which on the We're From Hamilton page, or the Hamilton, Ohio page, had a picture of it and a lot of commentary. Of course, now it's a parking lot. Uh, fans obviously in a hurry, beeping at the people in front of it, but hey, you know what? Chill out. All right, War Monument, or Memorial Building. That's obviously been there a long time. I don't know if they ever found the uh, time capsule that was buried around there. They buried one and then they couldn't find it. Greater Miami River. Crossed over this thing a time or two dozen. <laughs> or a few hundred-ish. Maybe thousands, I don't know. All right, corner building straight ahead. It's to my left. Been now, all these buildings been there a long time. Right next to it used to be I think Whitman's or something like that. Used to get all kinds of funky stuff there. Tom's Cigar Store now turned into a I don't know what kind of shop. The old. Um, It's called now. Ah, I drew a blank. Where they taught you about business. Hughes Prescription Drugs to the right. SNS Carryout. Doesn't look like it's much of a carryout anymore. Richards. <sighs> Catering now available. Let's cater to my stomach and I'll be happy. <sighs> to a four points. I remember this well. This is where I wrecked the truck. I don't know I mentioned that in one of my previous. I have green and I have green. So that means I can go straight, but I have to wait to turn because there is an arrow there. I will remember that always. Why? Because that's why I wrecked the first time. I thought I could go. I was a new driver. I was dumb. I was done. Alright, turning on to Millville. Gonna stop it and start a new one just for good measure.